Right, we're down at Top Cats again today, and um, this is the uh, second day that we've come fishing. And uh, today we're going to have a go for the carp. Now, um, these are the giant Siamese carp out here in Thailand. It can grow over 200 pounds. The largest we've got in the lake is about 170 at the moment. Um, and myself being a carp fisherman, starting on the canals in West London, catching the crucians and then moving on to a few lakes, they're the fish that I'm really interested in. And, and that's why at Top Cats we decided to stock with the amount of carp that we have. We've got seven species of carp at Top Cats, but the, the, the big ones that get caught are the giant Siamese, the Rahu, the Julians, uh, the Asian jumping carp, uh, and the Catler Indian carp. They're the main ones. We've got a few koi's in there, don't really get caught now and then, and a few small commons. But the giant Siamese carp are the ones that everyone really wants to target out here in Thailand. And um, like I said, we've got over 300 in the lake now, um, which we've stocked over the last 10 years. And the largest ones are those, like I said, that, that we've got about 100 carp over 100 pounds, which is phenomenal. Uh, no other lake has got that kind of stock in a big carp. And then, like I said, we've got uh, another 100 between 60 and 100 pounds, and 100 that are the smallest ones in the lake at 30 pounds. So that's 300 Siamese carp, and um, they're all happy, growing well. Love the conditions out here that you've got, you know, constant temperatures throughout the year, and um, really does seem to make these fish grow. <coughs> now, over the last five to six years, what we've done, we've uh, we've introduced boilies to the lake. Um, as you can see, these boilies here. These are actually Nash Scopex um, that we've made. We make them all on site. We've got our own boiling machines on site, uh, mixers and everything. And we, we make these at least once a week. They're all frozen, so they're fresh baked whenever you want. We sell them by the kilo. And the, and the carp love them. And obviously, as most of you know out there, that. Once the carp start eating boilies, they get accustomed to them and um, it makes them grow for one thing. It's good for them for all the nutritional basis inside the boilie and it doesn't damage the water quality in your lake. So we stick to boilies and um, they really like them. Um, now the setup, so I just want to go because no one really has explained that I found before any setups out in Thailand for fishing for these carp. It's all by people that have come over, tried things, everything else. No one's really thought about it and really set something up. So the techniques that we use, we're going to use two different ones today. We've got a corder leader with a corder method feeder on here. Big ball, method mix with corn, crushed boilies, everything in the mix. Boilie on the hair setup, as you would back home. It's one side we're gonna try. The second setup, there again, use a quarter leader, or we use a tubing. We use straight through with tubing with an inline lead. Now, we use inline leads, because if you use a, um, a lead clip, you lose the lead every time because the takes are so ferocious with these fish. You lose the lead, and you know you, you, we're not going to lose the lead every time with the amount of people we have fishing here. So we're inline lead, straight through, simple hair. We've got a little snowman set up on this one, and um, we'll try this one today as well. See how that goes. Now, if you're coming out here and um, you think you want to bring some end tackle for yourself to use, I'd recommend the the uh, corder leaders or the tubing, which we run through our main line. 
and then the hook link material is either the Quicksilver from Christon, the £45, or the Armour Braid from Nash at £40. Both of these we found work well and because now and again you might get a paku, it'll try and bite through it and uh, you need something a little bit more stepped up than you would in the UK. Hook wise we found the Nash Fang Unis and the Nash Fang Xs work well. They're a strong hook, barbless. Give them a go. And also if you want to bring a few pop-ups, Nutribates, Pineapple, or we use Nash uh, multicolored. Um, when you buy a kilo of boilies at Top Cats, we give you a small a small pot of pop-ups, enough for your session, free of charge within your kilo of boilies. So if you don't bring in the other thing that you might want to try, um, we don't supply it, but you, you know you can use PVA. PVA mesh, make a small crushed up boilies or cut them up, put a small bag on this setup and um, that works as well. But what I tend to do when I'm fishing is um, we get the guides to go out in the boat and drop off a bucket load of bait over the bait, over your hook then. So with that done, you don't really need that. But anyway, that's a little bit about what, we're, what we do on carp fishing here. There again, um, we've got all the rods set up. Like I said, we use Dalcoms um, and obviously your Century, your Century Specialist cart rods that we use for out at Top Cats. Um, so anyway, that's about it. Let's, let's, let's get the rods out there and hopefully, with a bit of luck, the conditions today is very, very hot as you can see. Um, but I think we might have a bite or two in a little while. Anyway, I'll speak to you later.